Symmetrical properties of circle. Now let us understand the different parts of a circle before we begin. In a circle itself, there is uh, different parts. Number one, we have the chord. A chord means, for example, a straight line joining from two points, one point on the circumference of the circle to another point on the circumference of the circle. So this is a chord. What is the longest chord in a circle? Now that would be the diameter. A chord can cut a circle into two different segments. This, this portion over here will be the minor segment. So this itself, this area is called a segment. This will be the minor segment and the one over here will be the major segment. And we can have uh, this portion over here to be the arc of the circle, which we have learned in the previous chapter. So this is an arc. Right? Now let's take a look at some of the properties of circle. Symmetrical properties of circle. Property number one. A straight line drawn from the center of a circle to bisect a chord. So if I have a straight line and it cuts this chord over here into two equal parts and this chord AB is not the diameter, that means this chord, uh, o, this portion OM is perpendicular to the chord AB. And I will have a 90 degree. The converse of this property is also true, meaning if O N and A B are perpendicular to each other, that means A M will be equal to M B. It will cut the chord into two equal halves. Symmetrical properties of circle. Property number two. Chords which are equidistant from the center are equal. What do you mean by equidistance from the center? So now let's measure the chord from AB, how far it is from O. The distance that AB from O is OM. If I'm given that OM is equals to ON, if these two chords are equal in distance from the center of circle, then the length of AB will be the same as the length of CD. The converse of this property is also true, meaning if AB is equal to CD, then OM must be equal to ON. Now, taking a look at these two properties, property number one and property number two, we will try to apply some questions on how to use them. Take for example, example one in this case. In this diagram, M is the midpoint of the chord PQ. That means M bisect PQ into two equal halves, meaning there will be a 90 degrees from the center of the circle. That is pro symmetrical property number one. And they tell us that RS is the perpendicular bisector of PQ. That means center O is somewhere along this line RS. The radius of the circle is 14. Hmm. Can we draw the radius of the circle into this diagram? Where will be the radius of a circle? For example, we can have OP or OQ. We will have a right angle triangle over here. Let's take a look at this right angle triangle. Now they tell us that the radius of the circle is 14 and that PQ was originally 20. 
So now PQ is 20 and I know that uh, this has a perpendicular bisector, it's a midpoint. That means what's the length of P to M? PM will now be 10 cm. They ask us to find the distance from the center of the circle to M. That means you need to find OM. What triangle do you see? Do you see PMO, the right angle triangle? So using the right angle triangle P, M and O, we have 10, 14 and a 90 degree angle. How can we find OM? Using the Pythagoras theorem. So OM will be equals to square root of the hypotenuse square minus 10. And that will give us an answer of 9.79795. So estimated 9.8036 cm. Do you get the answer? Let's try the next question. In this question, O is the center of the circle, radius is 11 cm. And they tell me that O N is perpendicular to the chord. If I have O N perpendicular to chord, what will happen to the chord P Q? Using symmetrical property one, if I have O N to be perpendicular, PQ will be cut into two equal halves. So what is the distance for NP? NP will now be 8 cm. Do you see the right angle ONP? Radius is 11, 90 degrees and PN is 8. Find the distance ON. How do we find this distance? It's a right angle triangle. What can we use? We can use the Pythagoras theorem. So ON will be equals to square root, radius square minus 8 square. And that will give us the answer 7.5498. And rounding off to 3 6 feet, 7.55 cm. Answer. Let's move on to the second example. In this diagram, A, B, and C, D are two parallel chords. From the center circle is O. I have uh, A, B to be given to be 24 cm. And now it tells me that in this diagram, there is a 90 degree here, perpendicular. OM is perpendicular to AB. What will happen to the chord AB? AB is originally 24 cm. So now if I have OM to be perpendicular, that means AB will be cut into two equal halves and there will be a length of 12 cm on each side. What about CD? CD is given to be 16 cm. And I notice there is also a 90 degree in my angle. So hence, ON bisects uh, CD into two equal halves. And I will get CN to be 8 cm on each side. Question says that OM is 5 cm. Find the radius of the circle. Where can I draw the radius on this diagram? Well, I can have the radius to be OA. Do you see the 19 right angle triangle over here? How can we find OA? We can use the Pythagoras theorem. So according to our radius, will be square root of 12 square plus 5 square. 
and that will give me an answer 13 cm for the radius. Question now asks me to find the distance between M and N. Oh, where this portion. Am I able to get this question directly? Do I have sufficient answer? Uh, sufficient numbers to find the answer? Not at the moment. But I know that the radius is now 13 cm. Can I find another right angle triangle to help me? So I know that the radius is 13. That means the radius is also 13 cm. So let's draw out this triangle O, N, N, D. I know that the radius is 13 found in part A and this is the 90 degree angle and D is 8 cm. What can I find in relation to find NM? Yes, I can find ON first and then how do I get my answer for NM? I know that O to M is 5 cm. Then we do a subtraction. So now let us first find O N. This will be the square root of 13 square minus 8 square, which give us a value of 10.247 in 5 six feet. And now to find M N, I just need to subtract and that gives me the answer 5.247 rounding off to 3 c 5.25 cm have you gotten the answer to end of this part of the chapter let us recall the following property number one a straight line drawn from the center of the circle to bisect a chord is perpendicular to the chord so if OM bisect AB, we will have a 90 degree angle. Converse of the property is also true. If we have a right angle, then OM will bisect AB. Property number two, chords which are equal distance from the circle center are equal. So if OM is equals to ON, then AB will be equals to CD. If AB equals to CD, then OM will be equals to ON. Now we have come to the end of this part of the chapter. Up next, we will be doing the revision or practice questions for involving these two properties. See ya!